Friday, June 9th, it must be time for another legislative update from your North Carolina Medical Society. It's been all budget, all the time this week, just like we informed you was going to happen. Uh, the groups of legislators that have been negotiating the budget, um, some 68 folks named from the House and 20 different people named from the Senate, have all been meeting in subcommittee meetings, closed door meetings where they've been trying to negotiate out agreements. Uh, where they could not find agreement, those decisions have been kicked up to the big chairs. Those are the, the senior appropriations chairs from both sides. And they're supposed to be working out their differences and what they can't work out, then the President Pro Tem and Speaker Moore will be working out over the weekend and early Monday. But what we expect is that we're going to see a final budget document sometime the middle of next week. Uh, many of the priorities that we've been working on, uh, whether it's eliminating the balanced billing provision, whether it's looking at the um, various pieces in there around Medicaid or other parts of the budget, have uh, nearly all of those are still in controversy. So I don't have resolution. I can't predict an outcome for you on that. Uh, that's going to be something that we're just going to have to leave till next week and give you kind of a full wrap up after the budget is passed. Simultaneous to this, uh, the governor has done something that uh, many of us consider unprecedented. I think is going to be found to be unprecedented and that is he's called a special session while the legislature is in session. Uh, this special session that has been called is to redraw the maps. And you've heard in the news about how the Supreme Court has kicked the maps back down that were both drawn um, uh, many years back, but then also again in 2011. All of those maps have been rejected, and the maps for both congressional seats as well as state senate and state house all have to be redrawn. Uh, that time window for them to redraw was somewhat flexible because the Supreme Court said that it was not necessary to hold a special election in 2017, that the maps could be drawn and then used for the 2018 election that we're already scheduled to have. So it seems like the um, uh, political powers are trying to accelerate the time in which that map, those maps will be presented to the, uh, for review, uh, whether to allow for further court challenges, who knows, whether to allow for more time for whatever, I don't know. But I think this is going to have some significant effect on what's going on with our priorities since we're going to be running now two sessions simultaneous to one another, uh, both very politically sensitive, uh, especially at a time when we thought we were very close to wrapping up. As I told you, we were thinking that we were going to be wrapping up by the 1st of July or right in that first week of July. So all that is to say, um, a lot of stuff happening, but not a lot of details to report for you this week. We look forward to bringing you more information. And remember, too, that as smaller bills or as uh, other bills are moving, we've been updating those on the legislative blog. So there's still a lot of updates and information about what's going on there. But as far as the big stuff goes, uh, we're kind of in a state of hold. We're waiting to see what happens. So we look forward to updating you on, with more detail next week. Have a good one.